have uh, done is sit uh, and wonder if I was... Katie Holmes is making her professional stage debut on Broadway in an Arthur Miller play. What's wrong with this picture? Nothing, if you're a producer. It's called stunt casting. You want to do a serious drama on Broadway? Hire a movie star. Result, sold out houses. But even though Simon McBurney's revival of All My Sons is the highest grossing play in town, that doesn't make it any good, and Mrs. Tom Cruise is part of the problem, though not the biggest part. McBurney is the culprit in chief. He's one of England's most admired avant-garde directors, and he's pulled all his multimedia tricks out of the hat for All My Sons. Rear projections, spooky music, earthquake loud sound effects. The trouble is that All My Sons is a modest kitchen sink drama about a corrupt businessman, and the plot gets lost in McBurney's pretentious postmodern shuffle. John Lithgow plays the businessman, Diane Weist, his wife, two first-class stage actors, and though they overdo it in the first half of the play, they knock it out of the park after intermission. Strong, serious, moving. But Katie Holmes? Not quite clueless, but definitely out of her league. No stage experience, no training, which means that she doesn't know how to project in a big Broadway theater. Whenever she tries to turn up the volume, she ends up ranting. It's a flat, monochrome performance in a production that's colored far too brightly for its own good. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Terry Teachout.